Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today we're gonna make Dollar Tree DIY gnomes. These are all Dollar Tree materials. This is my 2020 version, so I tried to come up with some different things. First we have our coffee, it's peppermint mocha. It's the Aldi brand, it's okay. I wouldn't buy it again. I just like the Starbucks, but that's okay. Hmm. Okay, materials. Basic materials. Scissors. I have fabric scissors and craft scissors. We've gone over this before. My sewing scissors. Oh, hi, Deb. My sewing scissors are not used on, like, plastic and sequins and stuff, just fabric. And then these scissors here. Um, I have socks of all different kinds from the Dollar Tree. These are, like, the fuzzy ones with the sparkle to them. I love those. I have a couple packs of the leg warmers that I found. I have some rope. This is the um, white nautical rope. It's softer than the brown. You could also use a mop for this. Some ribbon I got at the Dollar Tree. I have a stocking. I think this was from last year. I have a mop head, um, a pillow that has the mermaid, and then one of these like infinity scarves that I got. I was just looking for things that were fluffy. Um, I do have some wire cutters. I have the rotary cutter from the Dollar Tree, a ruler. And then I have like different size bells. I have some bows. Um, I have some of these. This is just things for noses, pom-poms, wooden beads. And then maybe for some decoration, the bows or these like metal snowflakes. Just stuff I've collected. Hot glue, hot glue gun. All right. So we're going to first, we're going to do a girl gnome first. So I'm going to move all this stuff out of the way, switch directions, and we're going to put together our girl gnome. Okay. The first thing I did is I took a piece of ribbon. I didn't measure, I just pulled it out and laid it down on this mat. I put my quilter mat away. This is a Westcott brand, it's smaller. It's 12 inch by 12 inch square. Um, it is a self healing mat. It was $5.97 at Walmart. Um, but I thought, I'm just gonna get this shadowing a little over, but this would be better for me to craft on than my good quilting one. So I put that one away, the larger one. So I took, this nautical rope from Wall or, um, from the Dollar Tree, the white, and I just untwisted it, right? So I would get these individual bundles of, I think this is cotton, if I had to guess, of cotton. And then I just cut them at random lengths. I did not try to measure anything. These are just, you know, how long are they? Uh, about nine inches long. Not important. Just longer than what your body is going to be. Then I did six across. Six of these little bundles with the hot glue gun. And I just glued them onto this ribbon. And then I went back and did two more. So in between. And I'll show you how I will glue these on. It's so easy. I just take my hot glue and I make a blob very technical. Take the end of the rope. I just flatten it out a little bit. I also have a popsicle stick to help me because it's, you know, hot glue. This is going to be hidden up under her hat. So I did in between the three. I'm trying to make so she has some thick like braids. I'm not braiding it for this one, but you can. I'm just going to make like little long ponytails and then put that here. Take your glue gun and just kind of mush it in. So what is going to happen if I were to hold it up, it looks like really long bangs. Um, but I'm going to separate five over here and five over here. I could do one more and make them six if I really wanted thick hair, but I feel like five is enough. Although we might as well, right? And this is how not important the measuring process is. I'm just clipping it for now. All right, we'll do, oops, let's get that in there. We'll do one more. And then we're going to um, take the ribbon and cover the top, right? So 
there we have all of those. And then here's this one. I want to let this dry really well before I start working with it. So what I'm going to do now that I have six on each side and what I like about this healing mat, the, it's silicone, I think, or a version thereof because the glue, I can rub off the glue. All right. Now I'm going to take it here and I'm just going over all of this because I don't want this hair to fall hair to fall out. And I'm folding it over. So there. I'm leaving a little bit on each side just to have a, a connection point. It doesn't, it's not important at all. There. And I can move that glue stick or that away. So here is what it's going to look like. If you wanted to make this a boy, you just leave it like this. And then I would say if you were going to do a boy, I would go through here and just separate your strands. Use your your hands and just separate these to make it thicker and to make it more. If you're going to do a girl, I will end up with braids on either side. And this is just how I'm choosing to do it. I could also cut this down the center and glue them up on either side of the head, which may work. I don't know. I decided she's going to have these, this body. It's just one of the socks from the Dollar Tree. What I will do, you don't have to have fancy scissors for this, but I'm going to cut it off above the heel. And then we're going to stuff it. Now I have um, rocks from Dollar Tree. These are from the... Um, you know, like in the planter section, I like them in the bottom because they hold the, the body sits up better. So I just fill up the bottom. You can pour it. You don't want to get your nails messed up. Um, and I would say oops, a fair amount to make it heavy to hold the, her body or his body, the body up, right? Um, but any type of rocks, sand, anything heavy, rice, but be careful with food because it can go bad or draw moisture. So I'm typically, if I'm going to keep these, I do rocks. So that's pretty good, right? That'll hold this gnome up. Now I took one of these pillows and cut it apart and pulled out all the stuffing. And this is what was in there. So that's where I got my stuffing from the Dollar Tree. This came out of a square pillow. And then I just pulled the stuffing out of it and I'm gonna use the fabric for other project. Pretty cool, huh? So everything literally is coming from the Dollar Tree. Now, this glue gun isn't specifically from the Dollar Tree, but they do sell glue guns. I just don't have one of theirs. Okay, and then I'm just stuffing the body up pretty darn good, right? Have a nice healthy body. She's a healthy Viking girl. And I'm just using twine because I can readily get that at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to tie off the neck here. Or the top of the um, body. And just so it doesn't come undone. Put a little hot glue there. I'm not too concerned about all this excess up here. I mean, I can cut it off. That's fine. So we have our body here. Look at what would be a good front. I think that's a good front right there. Okay. So now the, the hair is going to be long, and we're going to cut that after. But what we want to do... is um, ooh, six and six, right? Two, four, that's seven. I'm just dividing out here. But I'm pretty sure one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So I'm going to hot glue this down, right? And this is just going to take a minute. There is a lot of glue in here. You may not want to use as much as I did. But 
I want to glue this down to the sock. And I'm just holding it. You just want to make sure. But the fun thing about socks is that they are really versatile. Now, I'm going to take this. I don't feel like the buffalo check matches very well. So we'll do twine and then I can put bows on it because the red will go. But I want to just kind of tie her hair in a, in a loose little pony. Nothing crazy. You just want to do both sides the same. Because she's a girl. So she needs hair like this. We'll do some boys with some different materials. Okay. So we know where that's going. And we want her hair just to be a tad longer. Okay, right there. How cute is that? I mean, and how easy is this? It's just glue. Okay. And then I just want to make sure these are about the same length. Right? And I'm using craft scissors again. I've said this a million times. I don't like using my sewing scissors for crafting because it ruins them. There you go. And you can keep those extra... Um, little pieces. Now, I've decided she's getting a black gnome hat. And this is just a guy's sock. Cutting it off at the heel. Right? But I'm going to turn it inside out. I'm going to tie it off to give us a point. Right here. How easy. You could do these all one color. It doesn't matter. I just happen to have had all these materials laying around. You can buy fur at the craft store. I have some. You would need like a quarter of a yard, if that. So he's inside out, this hat, right? I'm going to turn it this direction. Now we have a hat that has a sort of a point to it. And we're going to put it on our head. We're going to glue it down, but first we need to make sure it's where you want it. Now, if you wanted the hat to stand up, then you would put stuffing in the hat. I do not. I'm going to have it over to the side. It's just my preference. I have lint on here. I just like their little hats to hang over to the side. So, we're going to go around and glue. This is a little tight on the head. It's not a deal at all. You just put a little drop of glue here and here. Right? And kind of hold it in place. You're going to want to do this all the way around so the hat doesn't slide off. Any little strings, you'll grab at later. Right? How easy and fun. And doing this with the kids, can you imagine... Oh, my glue gun came out plugged. I'm like, why is this not coming out? It's not plugged in. Can you imagine doing this with the kids and how fun it would be? And then to get them to stand, you just kind of smack them down a little bit. Now, this one needs a nose, and I'm going to put a pom-pom here. Um, let's do a... I think she needs a small little brown nose. What do you think? Put her nose right there? Yeah. I like that color. It's like a beigey brown. My glue is not quite hot. And up a little bit under the hat. Just hold it in place. And then I'm going to put a bell on her hat and two red bows that I have. And these are also from the Dollar Tree, but you can just buy, um, make your own too if you have the right color ribbon. I have the right color ribbon around here somewhere, but I'm not really going to go hunting it down. Um, 
So I twist them good and then I'm taking my wire snips. Because you could just twist it around too. You don't have to glue it on. All right, we'll just twist it on. I'm gonna glue it, but you could just twist it. So I take my snippies and I always say, you really want good snips. Especially if you're trying to cut a lot of greenery and things of that nature. And then I'm just gonna get that little bow up in there. You could also put some greenery on it. If you wanted it to be really Christmassy, you could put like a pine cone for her hair bow. There's a million things you can do. It's honestly just how you're feeling that day. All right, let's undo you. I do tighten these down so that the, it's a, they're like bread ties, holding these bows together. Little hot glue. And over here, hold it down. I'm not gluing down her hair. You can if you don't want it to move. I love her. And then a jingle bell. I have a couple sizes in here. I think I'll use this size, jingle bell, Dollar Tree. I get them, you know, a couple a year of different sizes and put them in a drawer. I have all these materials on hand. <sighs> Guys. How adorable is she? So sweet. And it's just Dollar Tree supplies. Okay, we have her done. I like her little nose. And her sock head. And the sock, the rest of this sock can be used for another body. But we have her all done. Isn't she adorable? I'll give you a better view of these guys once they're all done. But let me switch out some materials and we'll do the next one. Now we're ready for the next one. Um, I used the sock. The black, this is a men's black dress sock. I used that from the girls, left over from the girls hat. And we're gonna use this um, stocking to make the gnome, beard and all. So I'm getting out my fabric scissors cause that's what I do. Although you don't need them, but I do. I'm trying my darndest not to cut the back of this yet. I'm just cutting out um, the fur because we want that to make his beard. This will be a boy, so it's really a he. Now, the easiest way, I could just attach this, but that's a lot of stocking up here. So what I'm going to do is say, that's really big. So we're going to cut this right in half like that. And I want to go from here up to here. I'm just cutting a straight line from here. I'm going to make it pretty tall or long like that. Now, here's our, this is just the lining. I don't need that. What I do want to do, I'm going to hot glue the front and back together. So we're going to turn this inside out, right? And just make sure I have what I need. So hot glue gun, what I do is turn this to the side and I'm gonna start at the top. Ooh, I'm gonna need another glue stick. And I'm just gonna do a little line up the top and down the side here, just like you would if you were sewing two seams together. Because that's really what we're doing here. But we're just using a small string of hot glue to do it. Right? 
I'm not even worrying about the end because I think I'll take some ribbon to the end. So over here, I'm just going to do a little bit right there. Get the top done and then takes a little practice to have precision with your hot glue. I will tell you that, but you can do it. Turn it over, let it sit for a second. <laughs> I'm getting the hot glue off my mat. I'm really liking this mat. And then I wanna make sure we're really glued down good. If you're not, it's fine when you turn it. And you do wanna be just a little gentle turning this around because if you're too rough with it, you'll pop the seam. But, now see how that didn't really stick when I had it the other way? Not a problem. I'll add some more glue and just glue that seam. There you go. And I could do the same thing over here. Now, again, if you want it standing straight up, you can... Um, stuff it and I'm just gonna give him a little more of a point because I may not do anything on his tip but I'm just gonna do that okay so we're gonna let him dry this is the hat it will fit see and the good thing is it's stuffing if it's a hat's a little big or a little small you just um, squeeze it tighter okay so now we have this fur to make his the front of his beard okay with this faux fur stuff you want to cut the back not the front so i'm going to and this is stitched down so i'm just going to get up under this backing here for a second and see, I'm trying to not cut the fur on the front side. And look, this is what happens. You end up with the extra pieces hanging down because I'm only cutting through this. And again, this is all stitched down. So I'm separating it from the backing or these edge pieces is what I'm trying to do. Okay, and I'm going to say probably cut it right here. You can also use an X-Acto knife to do this. That is perfectly fine too. Um, and you're just going to want to, again, cut through the back. But I don't have an issue... Just sliding that up in there. Um, so we have his the little fur. I will. I want to get up in here and just do it a little pointy. Sorry, I'm I'm concentrating. I can actually show you like this. You really just want to watch your fingers and you're just gently going through that first top layer and then watch. See, you still have fur down there and that's ideal. I'm just trying to give it a little bit of a point. Just watch your fingers. Don't go cutting yourself. Okay. There we go. How cute is that? And then you just want to glue it. I'm going to leave the stripey side on the back since this is going to cover the whole front. And I am going to do the top down first. And I'm going to go pretty high up in there. Right? So he has his little beard on him now. Um, and I'm just going to do a quick blob of glue on the back. There we go. He has his little body. 
Now we're gonna glue his head. So I wanna make sure he's centered with his hat because there are side seams. Now, if you're not gonna do ribbon around it, so maybe I won't, I'll show you what you would do. To hem it, on the back side, you just do a thing of glue. I'm gonna have to clean my glue gun after this with all the fur and fold it up. So you've now hemmed it so you have a clean edge, right? And we'll do the same on the front. Okay, get him in there. There we go. So he's now, he's hemmed. Of course you can sew this, guys. You can oh, get your sewing machine out um, and sew this all together. So, sorry if you're not seeing exactly what I'm doing, but I'm doing the same thing I did on the other one. Putting the hat on. This one's going to stand up on its own, which I'm loving. Hat is on. I like the centering of it. So I'm going to come over here and just tack down the hat. Nothing fancy. Now there is a lot of fur on him. So I probably will take a lint roller to it <laughs> just to get some of the excess off. There we go. So his back hat is done. It's all on there. Right. And him. He needs a nose, too. What do we think? A black nose. That's a big one. Is that too big? That's too big. Or maybe, oh, let's find the right size. How about a gray nose? Yeah, that sticks out good. I like when they're contrasting. And I'm going to stick the nose up a little bit up under. So we're just going to glue it. And these pom-poms, I want to say came from Joanne last year. There we go. What do we think about... That might be too big. I don't know. What do you think? We could glue a snowflake on his hat. I think so. If you want to glue stuff on it, just make sure you're centered. That's all. His nose is where it needs to be. It's not going to stick real good to the fur because obviously the fur is what it is. But take this. Oop. These require a lot of glue sticks. Good thing they sell them at the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to add some glue. And put it right on his hat. Oh, I love it. We could put a little jingle bell in the middle. Tiny little jingle bell. Just be careful with these little things. There we go. Oh, I love it. What do you guys think? And you can, you know, spread out his beard. How easy was that? And if you don't want his hat to stand up, you can just pull it to the side, but it stands up on its own. I'm not going to mess with it. <gasps> Do you love him? They're friends, guys. They're friends. <gasps> okay. We're going to make a glammy glitzy one now. So wait a Give me a moment. Right, we're going to do one quick one. I took this pillow right i cut the backing off that's where i got all the stuffing for the hat because it's fussy as far as it's you know sequins i just folded it the long way just like that and i cut it just this just like that to the corner and i glued it together that way so you're getting an i don't know is that an isosceles triangle i don't know an offset triangle and that's what's left. We can keep that for another project. And then I glued it and turned it. Now you can see the glue on here, but this is the side I will fold over on side of itself to hide the glue. I took a little boy's, I'm thinking it's boy's dress sock in white. 
I did the same thing. St rocks and the stuffing. And I will say this one pillow worth of stuffing did all four of these. I took the floor mop. This one is messy. I cut it. Right, and then I folded it in on itself back here and just glued it to make a little um, beard. I'll be vacuuming up here for days. Let me just get that piece off. And then I'm just gonna attach it on the front side. I think this is a girl with a beard, if somebody was gonna ask me with her thing. And now I am going ham with the hot glue to really get this to stick on the front. And then I'm just gonna push it down and let it, oh, it's a weeble. <laughs> but I love that. Look at how fluffy that beard is. We're gonna call it a her. She just has a pituitary gland issue. Now, because only a girl gnome would have a fabulous now, if we want to let it stay up, I could put the seam up the back. Do you think we should have her have it standing up, her hat, or down? I don't know. I like it up. Let's do hers up. So, this is an example where I'm just going to make it fit on the body because it's a little tight. I'm okay with that. So, this is definitely the back. This point is your back. I'm measuring it. It's halfway. I'm going to lift and glue. We're going to go real slow and just make sure this is glued on pretty tight. And I think she gets a jingle bell for a nose because they're shiny, right? And I will. Oh, yeah, this needs to stay straight up. Um, what's happening back here? What's happening? Maybe it's not. Maybe she'll go over because I think it's going to tip. Could be a wizard, right? Now, let's see. On the front, I'm just going to toss some glue up in there. Got some on my finger. It's okay. This is not hot glue. This is low temp. And that's what's so fun about this. You can just really... Yeah, I'm going to make this like a wizard. So she needs a sparkly bell for a nose. Or I guess I don't know what a witch. I don't know. What is a female wizard? Who knows? And then I want to get some purple showing. And then I think what I will do is glue the hat down because I think I like it that way. You do you. What the heck? I'm throwing stuff again, guys. I don't know what I just threw on the floor, but we'll pretend like it's okay because we don't really know. <gasps> How cute is that? What is that? Oh, I have glue on the sequins. There we go. How sweet is that? You could put something up here, but I think I'll just do the mermaid. Oh, how fun is that? I love it. So that's number three. Number four, super easy. Same concept, took a sock. These are the sparkly snuggadoos, rocks, stuffing. I'm taking this scarf and I'm just going to cut it. Whatever scissors you have. I, the reason I'm so fussy with my scissors, I watch DIYers trying to cut ribbon and they're having a hard time because they've dulled their scissors. So this is fabric, right? So I'm using my fabric scissors and look, it just goes right through. Okay. You can do any size beard you want. Again, I've got a mess. I'm going to tidy this mess by hemming it again. 
So I'm just going to say, oh, another glue stick. I did say this takes a lot of glue, right? We're going to go from here, right down the side. And I'm just going to fold it over. You just want your edges to not be raw. Because if you are, all this extra fluff is just going to fly every time you touch it. But if you tuck all of your ends in, ooh, we're going to do that one twice. If you tuck all your ends in, then all the fluff doesn't fly all over the place if you're looking at it or touching it or whatever. Okay, and then we're going to do the bottom. Same thing some glue and this one's gonna be a little different we're gonna tuck it together but I need to get the inside done guys I love gnomes so I just made a square right we're gonna lay this down we're gonna call this the front I'm gonna tuck it and make it at the top here a little more bunched maybe so we're going to do one spot of hot glue, fairly decent sized, and that's going to be the center. And then, so we have the center, and then I'm just going to do a little line here, but I want it to be just a little tucked up because we're going to do the same at the bottom. The top should be bigger, but and then we're just going to kind of bunch it together. Right, I'm gonna hold that there and look at the bottom. And at the bottom, maybe what we'll do is the same thing. We can do, or we can leave it. I think we'll leave it. I don't know. I like the way the bottom looks kind of bigger. Now, this one, we're gonna take a leg warmer. And I'm just, I'm going to just tie off this end because I'm going to put a puff ball in here. So watch this. Hope you guys are enjoying this. Because I sure am. And then I'm going to leave my two ends here out like that. We're going to take the big pom-pom and I want to just stick it right in the middle there on the end of his hat so we're going to take a lot of glue again do you notice the <laughs> the theme we're going to use a lot of glue but you kind of have to if you want to make things bigger so there and that's just the bottom he's definitely a guy I would say put his little thing over his head, his hat, and I'm going to let this one just lay on the ground, but I'm going to put his hat up here. And if you just do a blob in the center of the front, you know where you want that to be. I'm coming to the back and I want to, I like the backs a little longer. I don't know why I like them being sitting offset on their heads. Personal preference, I suppose. And one more glue stick and then we're done. Oh, when he needs a nose, but I have an idea for his nose. So there we have it, right? Pom-pom down here. What do we think about? I don't know if this is too big. Oh, I don't think so. We're going to use one of these little balls, right? And we're going to make sure it's centered. And how much glue? A lot. And right here in the center. I'm just going to hold it. When you use a lot of glue, you got to hold it for a second. Oh, I like him. He's cute. Right? And then you, you smack him down to get him to sit how you want. And you just put his little self around there. I will put set these up on the table and I will show you how they all look. Oh, I do love his big nose. He may need it touched up a little bit. And you could have 
put the nose on and then went over it with the um, leg warmer to make the nose, you know, a little more berry, but I like them. We'll have to come up with some names for these guys. But that is four Dollar Tree gnomes, all for, I would say, less than $20 for all these materials. All right, I'll be back. Here we go, guys. All four of my Dollar Tree gnomes. So we have that one. And he was made out of a buffalo chick stocking and a stock. She was made out of the nautical rope and two socks. This little wizard was made out of one of the mermaid sequin pillows and a mop. And this one was made out of a sock, a leg warmer, and a scarf. All the materials down to the stuffing was purchased at the Dollar Tree. Yay! So I hope you enjoy and have a good one. Bye!